I prepare for you the top 5 features of the new Microsoft Stream application that will help you to work with the videos, improve them, create them and make them much better material to be consumed by your business users. And you can be surprised because Microsoft Stream is almost invisible application in the area of the Microsoft 365. But in this video, I would like to convince you to try it and to check the new functionalities that are available in the modernized Microsoft Stream application. If you want to get more videos like that, I recommend you to leave the thumbs up, comment or subscription for this channel. And if you have any questions about Microsoft Stream or any other Microsoft 365 application, use the comment section. And before we will move forward to the top five features of the Microsoft Stream, let's focus for a few moments about the application itself. You need to remember that the new Microsoft Stream application is a video player for all video materials and video files that are hosted across Microsoft 365. You will open all videos from SharePoint, OneDrive and Teams using Microsoft Stream so the data is hosted somewhere in the Microsoft 365 by Stream application will be the app to give you the possibility to open it and consume that content. This is a different approach than the classic Stream that was present years ago and because of that, it's so easy to miss that application like Stream exists in the Microsoft 365 because we're just playing the videos in there. But in this video, I want to show you what you can do with video files in Microsoft Stream with top five new features that could help you to improve the quality of such materials. Generate transcript and subtitles for your video. The transcript of your video and use it as a subtitles for your video. This is super functionality that could improve the way how your video is consumed by your business users. If you will go to the settings and you will find transcript and caption section, you can upload subtitles in here or you can ask Microsoft to generate the transcript of your video. The only thing you need to do is to select the language that is used in the video. In few moments, the transcript will be generated and you will have the capability to use it as uh, subtitles in your video. In the moment, the transcript will be available in here. You can see this is the subtitles generated by Microsoft. You can also upload subtitles manually that are generated from the outside of Microsoft Stream and then users will have the capability to use the subtitles in your video and you can generate that just in few moments without any additional work. Very useful functionality. Add chapters to your videos. Another very useful functionality that could help you to improve the quality of your videos are the chapters which you can add to structure the longer videos. You can add them manually just by setting the timestamp and the title, but if you will go to video settings and to the chapter section and the transcript is already in place, you will have the capability to generate the chapters automatically. So again, if you have massive numbers of the videos that you want to improve, this is something that will speed up your work. And if you will go to the chapters, you can see you have automatically created chapters that structure and group your video. Moreover, you can add additional chapters manually. This is very useful functionality that could help to organize longer videos just in few clicks. Record your screen or camera with stream. Another great functionality that you should be aware of is possibility to record your screen or camera using the stream application. Many times Microsoft Teams is used to do that by generation of the meeting and starting the recording of it. Microsoft Stream will allow you to do that much easier way. The only thing you need to do is to start the recording of your camera or your screen and in the moment 
you will have the capability to start the recording of your screen using Microsoft Stream application. You can blur your background, you can use the teleprompter and few additional features that will allow you to improve that kind of solution. You can manage which screen, which application, which devices should be used to do that recording and all of that is implemented in the Microsoft Stream. And remember to get to that feature you will need to navigate from the player to the stream using stream application icon where you can start the screen recording or camera recording directly from the stream app rather than Microsoft Teams. Trim length of your videos and improve sound quality. And two additional small features could really help you when you have the recorded video of your screen or of your camera to improve the quality. First of all, you have the capability to trim the video so you can cut off the beginning when you setting up your video or make it a little shorter from perspective how long the video should be. You can do that kind of cleanup and just using few clicks, nothing more. And the only thing you need to do is to commit the change and then confirm that change. And you can see this is super simple, no development, no additional software is needed. And the second element I want to highlight as an element that you should consider in the video settings, there is a noise suppression functionality which you can turn on and automatically improve the quality of the sound of your video, especially when you're recording on your computer. Again, very quick win for your quality of your videos. I recommend you make your videos shorter, cut off the rubbish elements and also improve the sound quality. Create nice playlists for your videos. Another new feature available on the landing screen of the Microsoft Stream is possibility to create the playlist. So very easy to use Microsoft list that will allow your business users to go through videos created and grouped in the one playlist. This functionality will create Microsoft list that will group the videos that you will select there and will allow your business users to navigate to them and play them very easily. You can see this is customized playlist where the only thing you need to do is to select the videos that you have in your Microsoft Teams and add them to the playlist. In few clicks you can deliver the playlist which you can add to the SharePoint site or Microsoft Teams where business users will be able to found grouped videos prepared by you. Very simple but very useful feature. I hope that after watching this video you will get back to Microsoft Stream application and try it. Check what you can do with video files. And I wonder what is your opinion? Do you think this is something worth to spend time on? And is it better than classic stream application that we know from the past? In my opinion, it's a totally different approach with much better functionality. Again, this is the product that's evolving, so I'm looking forward for your feedback. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.